Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Fit Tuesdays. Today's topic of conversation, stem length. How does it affect your position? How does it affect the handling of your bike? We're gonna talk about it. The world's longest stem. It's not the world's longest stem. There's a kind of ego thing there, isn't there, with, with stem length. A stem is a component that affixes the handlebar to the rest of the bicycle. It is part of the cockpit and it enables us to turn the handlebars. That's the world's shortest stem. <laughs> that, is, that is an anti-stem. zero millimeter stem. <laughs> what happens when your stem's too long? Absolutely nothing. You want to get it as long as possible, don't you? Because it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. So a couple of things, the, 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 biggest, the biggest impact to your reach is that potentially your reach is going to be too long. So you're going to end up essentially doing a plank and having to ride a bicycle at the same time. It's going to be propping yourself up. There'll be lots of pressure on your hands, so you end up with neck and shoulder issues. There is a very strong correlation to between excessive reach and uh, saddle ramifications as well. So saddle, saddle sores, gentle numbness, any saddle discomfort for that matter. And it also, it, when, it's, when it's extremely long, I, I kind of feel like, the, well, it, it makes the bike handle uh, sluggishly. The bike doesn't, it, it's kind of, it slows up the handling quite a lot. Uh, so the, there's a sort of balancing act between you know high speed stability and the thing still feeling agile. But fundamentally, if it's if it's too long, uh, you probably get numb hands or neck and shoulder issues or saddle issues, and your bike ride like shit. Problem with it being sh too short, and you know, stem. I think it's, it's worth noting to the viewers that. Uh, stem lengths come in between five and ten millimeter increments. Uh, the, I mean, this is a seventy millimeter stem, which is not as short as they get. They get shorter than this, and this is a hundred and thirty millimeter stem, which is again not as long as they, they, they get. Oh, on mountain they, bikes, there's like mountain bikes that go right? down as, as low as forty mil, uh, or actually even in some cases there's this sort of direct mount um, uh, system, but. Uh, on road bikes, you know, in, in some pro circles, you might see 150, maybe even longer millimeters um, in stem length, and you know, you, you can you can fine tune that position. And more often, one thing to consider is that you, there isn't one stem length. Like you could probably ride two or three different stem lengths if it fits pretty good. Uh, but the problem with having a stem length that's too short, again, depends on the type of the bike. Having it too short can make the bike feel erratic and quite um, quite scatty. It's so particularly high speed, so a lot of riders will end up with a sort of high speed shimmy. The you know the front wheel will start to wobble, a bit like Lawrence's bike on the Vietnam trip. Maybe you should look at those videos. So it's worth pointing out or noting that you don't want to go too short. I depending on the bike, I tend not to fit anything much shorter than a 90 mil. That being said, if you've got a bike with a slacker head tube angle and a longer wheelbase, you, you might be able to get away with something, which you tend to find on smaller bikes or more endurance oriented bikes, you might get away with running something that's slightly shorter. The range I tend to fit is anywhere between 90 millimeters and 120. Uh, I can count on one hand the amount of 120 millimeter stems I've fitted to people's bikes, uh, but I, I lose count of the amount of 90s that I've, fa I've fitted. But I think that's more a testament to how people like to set their bikes up. I, I find myself having to reduce people's reach a lot uh, on the grounds that people, you know, they, they, buy, they buy silly bikes. And we've touched on this subject a number of times now in the last in the last week or two, uh, in that, you know, people buy aggressive race bikes, which is not really the right sort of product for consumers. But that in, in turn is why I end up fitting shorter stems, usually to kind of offload things like the hands, the neck and the shoulders. So, uh, but I, I must admit, I don't very often find myself increasing stem length. My, my finding is generally that most people are too drawn out and stretched out rather than the other way around. I mean, yes, I guess you could, you know, if, if the bars were way too close to you, you'd end up looking like a, you know, a Russian bear on a bicycle. You know, so you'd probably end up with more pressure on your hands, but I think they're more likely to stretch themselves out than they are to make it, make it too short. A couple of points. Uh, so first and foremost, we kind of want it almost as long as we can possibly get it, but without you feeling stretched out. Because the the mechanism of the stem is that it, to a certain degree, determines how a bike handles. And we don't want to go very, very short to make it scatty. We also want to get it longer for, for, high, for high speed stability. And I think we touched on this uh, in a few videos ago, but you don't want to feel stretched out. 
If you feel stretched out, you're way too stretched out. On the grounds that, as a human being, you're you're good at absorbing uh, dysfunction and 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 actually you'll you'll absorb excessive reach to a point that where you start to notice it, actually it is too late. You know, you're you're way beyond where you ought to be. So I would say, and unfortunately, it's a relatively expensive uh, experimentation. Well, unless you go and buy a load of stems on eBay. But if you have one of these more modern uh, integrated bikes, it, all, it puts even more of an onus on having a fit first to ensure that it's going to be right. Uh, experimentation is probably key, is my instinctive response. I think when you're buying a stem, you need to be aware that they come in different angles as well. You don't want to end up buying something really extreme like this if you're after a normal mm. stem. I mean, that's, that's a negative 17, 130 mil stem. And if we look at this, so this is a standard six degree, and you can see the difference. So, you know, if you align the, the, board, the clamp areas, you can see how much of a difference there is between, you know, and these are the same length. And you can see how much closer the bore of the handlebar is going to be, depending on, depending on the reach of the, depending on the angle of the stem. So not only does it affect height, but it also affects reach quite dramatically. Uh, so, so yeah, it's something else to, to really to really consider is the angle. It's probably about a centimeter in it. I reckon it's more. I've never really looked at the two of them next to one another. I, I usually find myself, you know, taking stems like this off and just, you know, <laughs> so for God's sake, here comes another one. But it looks so cool, man. It does look cool. I have I have fitted stems like this to people's bikes, but only you know with a, a pretty functional rider who's got, who's on a bike that fits them pretty well. You know, usually there are a couple that spring to mind who are kind of cat one, cat two racers, generally. But I mean, if you're a consumer, you're not racing. This has no place on your bike. I would almost go as far as to say, if you're average height and you're riding anything over a 120, your bike is either too small uh, or your reach is too long. So that concludes another episode of Bike Fit Tuesdays. I hope that information was useful. We're trying to just give you as much information as possible to then go and help your purchasing decisions. As always, we do really want to encourage people to get bike fits before pulling the trigger on a new bike because um, it can save you a lot of money in the long run. Thank you always for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Equally, if you want to book a fit with James, I'll put a link to the booking page down below too. That's all from us and see you soon.